Turn the towel! Turn the towel! Turn the towel! I can say that this really, they, they honestly, they almost have uh, a commonality though. Both teams are no longer uh, reliant on their quarterbacks to do everything to, in order for them to win the game. Both have a system now in place that takes the pressure off of them and really, look, you know what? Uh, you know what? You you know what? The worst thing in the world for any defense that has to face an elite quarterback really is. It's not when they throw fifty times because in NFL history, on average, when a quarterback drops back and throws fifty plus times, I think like they lose over seventy five percent of the time. And it's therefore like, yeah, like it it does. Right, and therefore, like I said. Rodgers now is in a in a system where his stats might not be great, but neither is Tom Brady's. But you look at Tom Brady's six rings, he really has to make four, th- well, I should say three to five gotta have it throws a game. Where it's like, there, it has to be flawless. It doesn't matter the down or distance. I'm not putting any caveats there. There's just three to five of those every game. And he, he, and he delivers. Exactly. It's a, it's a, it's a got to have it throw. And the the quarterbacks that can't win, the Kirk Cousins, they miss those constantly. Just saying. That's he's in he's in a he's in a system, he's in the exact same system where they've got a hell of a they have the bet, uh, no def, no offense to either one of our running backs. Talent-wise and what he's shown with a far less Far less of a talented offensive line. He's the best running back in the NFC North. Delvin Cook. Okay. He doesn't have a line. And, and Yes. Yeah. And and carry on and Aaron Jones. Like, I, I, that's splitting hairs. I, I don't know. I'm not going to. Like, they're, they're very good. They're, they're very good backs. Right. But, but I, I guess the thing is, those, both of those guys are now 
well, in a game back. like this, though, Dave, in a game like this, there's there's a couple of factors in who's going to win, and it and it goes like this: it's does one team or the other control the clock and the tempo of the game That's more, yeah. right? More to their liking and and sway the the favor to theirs. And if that doesn't happen, if that's even, it becomes who wins the turnover battle or the proverbial lucky bounce. That's about it. Because, well, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it comes down to those little those little things because, really, they're pretty evenly matched. They have some holes. Your guys' secondary has some holes. Our our inside run game does have some holes here and there. It's so it's. The lines, what are you with? Lines. Yeah, because yeah, we got a we got a beast. That punter, J.K. Scott's a freaking nutcase. Oh yeah.
It's a lot like more like college, but expanded. College has individual on-site, like a team of people, and that's what the AFL was trying to do, and that was that is something they need to do. You gotta have a quick mind, man. Quick mind, quick thinker.